You want your sports highlights? We've got them right here. I'm Ricky Camargo, and this is the Highlight Reel. Every young high school football player in Texas's dream is to one day end up on the field at Jerry World playing for a state championship. For Rouse and Brennan, they're one step away from reaching that goal. Baseball's triple crown. To win it, you must lead your league in home runs, batting average, and runs batted in. And it hasn't been done since the LBJ administration. Until now. The Texas Stars are looking to build on their success from last year when they had the best record in the Western Conference. They're fortunate enough to have a lot of the same faces from last year, but they can all agree the ultimate goal is to bring a championship to Cedar Park. Staying on the 40 acres, the men's basketball team is off to a 4-0 start, but the games only get tougher from here. Winning a national championship is hard, but even harder, as the Longhorns know, is defending that championship. But with five games to go, they can taste the back-to-back -back national title run. And they say they're even hungrier going into this year's NCAA tournament. Big 12 championship is, of course, a goal. National championship is the ultimate goal. But there's also the opportunity to go undefeated in league play. Um, how important is that? Defending national champions, 16 straight wins, and three conference titles in a row. You could say that the top-ranked Texas volleyball team is rolling. Let's stay in the game, baby. Let's stay in the game. Let's go. Get up that swing with a purpose. You gotta lay it on the line. Baseball is America's national pastime. That statement rang true in the 60s and 70s, but the game has been losing popularity, especially with inner city kids. Major League Baseball's RBI program was designed to revive baseball in inner cities, but for one Central Texas teen, the impact goes far beyond the field. When Arturo Garcia started his freshman year at Reagan High School, he was looking for an after-school activity, but he had never played baseball. I wanted something to do in my high school career. I'm like, I want to just like go through high school without doing any, anything, so I signed up for RBI. RBI director Matt Price remembers the first time he met Arturo. So we're hitting some fly balls, and he can vouch for this. We're hitting some fly balls with the guys, and he couldn't catch a single one. We said, man, this is, this is going to take some work. Arturo had never had dreams of getting to the major leagues. He just enjoyed playing the game, but he did have dreams of going to college, which is something no one in his family had done before. Like all these mentors kept telling me about college, how I should go into college. Also actually thinking about dropping out of high school too, because financial need in my family was great. RBI recognized the importance of encouraging academic excellence in addition to athletic skills. That's why in 2007, they started a scholarship fund to help provide financial assistance to youth who participated in the program. With 200 leagues and thousands of players across the U.S., Arturo figured his chances were slim until he got a call while sitting in the school library. And I got a call from them, and they told me, um, Hi, Arturo, you're one of our RBI scholars. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I was really happy. And, uh... After the initial shock wore off, the first call he made was to his mother. I got a beca de 20,000 dollars. I got the 20,000 scholarship, uh, 20,000 dollars scholarship, and um, she just cried. <laughs> like, I got a full ride. Knowing Arturo and knowing how hard he's worked, and how much he stuck with it and pushed through some obstacles. Uh, it was real exciting um, because he's getting to see some fruit from all that hard work. Arturo plans to return to Austin this summer and bring his experience full circle as a mentor to the kids in the RBI program and be a real life example of what could happen to them too. Ricky Camargo, Wine in Sports. Since Mac Brown began as head coach of the Texas Longhorns, they are 14 and one following the OU game. But Mac and his team are breaking down the season a little differently this year. The last three games, Kansas State, Iowa State, and, and Oklahoma, a season in itself because we had a natural break and the Oklahoma game was the last game of the year. We were proud of those three wins and, and uh, got a lot of momentum going forward. And now we've got a four game season, uh, all conference games before we have the break before Tech. After the huge win over OU, the Longhorns were able to take stock in where they stand going into the second half of the season. The next few games will test the Horns, but they're ready to go back to work and make a big run at the Big 12 title. I think that was very smart just to shut the season down right there. That's over with. 
uh, nothing that has happened so far dictates where the, where the rest of our, where the rest of our season goes. And so um, it's another it's another clean slate. We're for for us we're 0 and 0 I guess, and, and we're trying to go win our first ball game. Case McCoy said he'll have his team ready to play against TCU on Saturday. How he plans to do that? Well, he's keeping that part in the locker room. I guess we'll find out Saturday in Fort Worth with the Longhorns, Ricky Camargo, Wyatt in Sports.